Good evening, friends and family. Another check-in. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's really like the nicest day uh, of 2022 so far, uh, at least certainly for me. Um, but definitely, it's the nicest day since uh, since I've moved here. Been here about four or five months or so um, since I moved back down from Big Bear. And I was here for about three years uh, before uh, I had to leave towards the end of 2020. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to invite you all into my day and uh, into my room, into my world, and uh, just share myself and just give an insight uh, and of really of my day today, right now, today, like here we are, you know, welcome, here's my day, um, it's going good, it's very warm, um, but not, like, it's not too hot yet, I think by this afternoon I'm gonna want to take my sweater off, pretty, actually in a minute here, I'm gonna, you know, pretty soon, um, it's warmed up nicely, so, uh, it's a beautiful day, and just, uh, really splendid, lovely, um, fresh, clean, the air has cleared out a, a lot, which is something that I'm very, very sensitive about air quality. Well, you know, I'm a very sensitive man to begin with, just because, you know, it's just the way I am. I'm highly sensitive, uh, and I think, you know, we all can really relate to that. We all are, really. Um, but, you know, for example, uh, f dust, things like dust, household dust, I'm very sensitive, like, I'm very careful about things like that, about uh, household dust. We're talking about micro particles of, you know, different chemicals and fibers. Um, so there's a lot of synthetic fibers and, you know, potentially uh, harmful particles that are it, that are actually in household dust. So they did, I looked at, I remember I did some research online and they said that there's over 3,000 toxic compound or chemical or there's over 3,000 different chemicals that they've identified in common household dust. So it's actually far worse than we realize. Household dust is completely toxic and and needs to be avoided at all costs. So. You know, and it also depends on what kind of house you live in. I mean, if you have tile floors and newer construction, fresh paint and good ventilation, you're not going to have much dust in the house. But so, you know, it, it all it's one of those things that we actually have to be extremely aware of what kind of dust is in our environment and how can we eliminate it. So, for example, uh, one thing that I do is like today, as you can see, my floors are spotless. I mean, I need to wash my little uh, rug there, but the floors are spotless. Uh, like literally, I sweep them, I sweep it, and then I, I wipe it all down. And that's actually one of the nice things about having a bed that's like this, that's just wood. It's just wood and, and a couple of blankets for padding. And what's nice about it is that all the dust just falls right underneath it onto the hardwood floor. And I can just go under there with a wet paper towel and wipe every little particle of dust down. So it's always clean under my bed, you know, and there's never a big dust, uh, you know, plume of dust particles that come up when I jump into my bed or anything, you know? So it's ultra fresh. So that's what I love, you know? I love it for things to be very pure and clean and fresh. And we're talking no dust, no particles, no dust at all, um, you know, nothing like that. So, yeah, just a little insight into my room, into my life, into the way I think, the way I operate. And I just have some beautiful house plants here that are coming along. They are in the process of rooting out. And so they're all doing really well. 
And each one of these is very, very precious. Uh, very precious, in fact. And what's interesting is that um, it actually takes a very long time to grow. I mean, you wouldn't think, but even just a plant like this, um, you know, to grow a, a stem like that, you know, to, to grow a, a trunk or a stem, uh, just of that thickness is actually, it's actually a, a quite a slow growing plant, especially when it's a smaller size. It takes actually a, quite a while for it to grow because I think it's producing so much uh, alkaloids inside the leaves that actually it's a slow growing plant because we're not seeing at the molecular level just how much is actually going on in, inside of these leaves and inside of the plant. It's a very strange, complex uh, uh, plant. So that's uh, what I'm dealing with is I'm having to learn all the little nuances and details of this plant. And I'm experiencing with, uh, you know, uh, working with the leaves, cooking with it, uh, growing it at all different stages, working, gardening with it, growing it. Uh, so I'm really learning all the little details, all the little data bits of data that I can extract from this uh, as I'm working with it is progress. So that's one of the things that I'm doing now is that I'm just, I'm still in, in the learning progress where I'm learning about this plant, how it grows, how to work with it, what nutrients to give it, how much water to give it, how to even work with it, how to maximize my yields, and you know, how to grow it, how to propagate it, how to make cuttings make clones for other people you know things like that so i'm trying to really uh maximize what i have here and use it for good it's really a good thing and it's and it's with good intentions that uh i am proceeding with this endeavor so really and above all else my heart's i'm a big, i'm actually romantically thinking I'm in a romantic position uh, as far as, uh, you know, my position in life overall. Because really, I'm just really trying to get with my girl. <laughs> well, with my girls. There's, a, there's more than just one. There's a couple of girls that are my angels. They're really angels. And I'll never leave them behind. And they're so special to me. And they have been the ones who carried me through. Uh, the almost impossible task of uh, existing in, the, in my shoes. So that's been a major blessing. So shout out to my angels. And I love you girls so, so much. And everything that I can do uh, to help you, I will do. And mi casa es su casa. So keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Well... Here we are, and I don't know if you can really see it, but yes, you definitely have a nice view of the ocean. Sometimes you can see the boats going by, especially on Saturdays. Um, and of course, the view is better from upstairs. Um, but at least we do have a view, and it's really a major blessing. And one of the other blessings of uh, living here is that you can smell the ocean. We live so close. It's just a short walk down the, really just down the steps to go to the beach. So, you know, we can smell the ocean and we can actually, when it's late at night and PCH is cleared down, as you know, slowed down, you can actually hear the waves uh, from the house, from the backyard, especially when the, when the waves are big on a quiet late at night, on a summer night you can hear the waves actually quite well. So it's really cool. And it's really only about, it's, it's just a few hundred feet out the door uh, to where you get to a thousand steps. So it's, uh, it's a very cool spot, very cool spot. So, so this is my day today. Um, I'm not gonna spend too long, but this is another one of, uh, most is actually, 
This is my largest uh, clone that I'm trying to propagate right now. So it's a nice size. It's definitely a nice little thing to have uh, in the living room, if you know what I mean. You know, seriously, that thing's just chilling there and it changes everything. It's a major blessing and I'm taking good care of it. So this thing right here, this is my, um, that's gonna be a gift, but this is my best, this is my best plant, so my best clone so far. So I'm hoping, and it seems to be doing good. It got a little hot, cause I was running the heater and so it got a little too hot so it got a little dried out on the tips, are all crispy. So I moved it into this room, and, and you can just tell, you can just see actually, what I've learned is you can see where it's already been dried out. I don't expect any of these little branches to come back. But maybe, but I know the main stem of it, I'm gonna probably have to go eventually and, and trim some of this dry material off the edge, off the tips of it. But the main stem definitely took, it rooted out, and so the, it propagated. It was a successful propagation, just barely. Uh, so I've been learning, and thankfully, it's not, a, it's not a complete loss, because it actually would be quite devastating for, for a cutting of that size to, to not root and for it to fail would actually be a very devastating loss, because it would take actually several years uh, to grow uh, a sapling that size. So that's it. That's my uh, that's the cream of the crop um, as far as my cloning goes. So we'll see how that one does. Um, it's coming back. It's coming back. Like I said, it got a little too warm and it got a little dried out. So and then I have this one, which is doing really good. Um, you know, there's always a little bit of a, it's always a little bit of a challenge when you, when you're taking a, a cutting and trying to propagate it. So, uh, it doesn't always take right away, uh, especially, especially when you're not using any ro rooting, um, hormone, which is, uh, I didn't use. I chose to do it a nat naturally. So, uh, that's uh that's the situation there and it's working it's working thankfully but this is this thing is going to be sweet that thing right there this little plant right here it's got a lot of little branches on it and eventually that little plant is going to be able to provide plenty of sustenance actually uh, leaves for tea and ba bathing or making cosmetics, uh, anything like that, you know, that's eventually going to provide quite a, quite, quite a good amount of leaves for one person just for, you know, culinary uses or whatever. So kind of exciting. And, uh, yeah, so Uh, I'm actually baking some brownies t today, which I'm actually really excited about because it's been a while. And who doesn't love brownies, you know? And they're very healthy. All the chocolate in there is uh, antioxidant, and it has uh, positive effects. What do they say? Um, it causes like a positive reward response in the brain when you eat chocolate so it's a mood booster it actually really does uh boost the mood for that reason um so it causes a release of like serotonin or uh, one of those um because yeah it's just a one unique benefit uh health benefit of chocolate and what i've found is it's all these little things like chocolate um and garlic you know black pepper mustard uh, it's all these strange little spices that are, are they're all medicinal especially like chocolate and coffee those are both totally medicinal and full of health benefits so I've learned to look for and find 
uh, the strange little health benefits that are hidden in these little seasonings and spices that we have. So that's one of the best ways to stay healthy. And when they say food is medicine, it's really true. So to me, food is medicine. And that's the way I think about it. And I, and I go out of my way to make very healthy and nutritious, not just healthy and nutritious, but also medicinal meals. So I'm, I'm good at that. So I, I've got your back, you know, when it comes to that. When I say Chef Sean at your service, I mean, I'm talking about medicinal Chef Sean. So I take good care of myself. I've learned a lot and I've, I, cause I take myself seriously. I'm sensitive and I, I like to be healthy. So I'm very careful. So I've learned a lot and uh, I'm happy to share that. And just blessed to say that I can. Um, so cheers. And uh, here we are. Things are looking good here in the brick room. Alright, I just want to take a quick minute to show this artwork. I love this artwork. It's very special. KKJZFM and HD1 Long Beach, Los Angeles. This is KJAZ 88.1, a service of California State University, Long Beach. Well, that is the uh, brick room, and the reason why it's called that is because the floor is made of solid brick. Which is kind of unique, and uh, it, legend has it that this actually used to be the patio of the original house, and then they built a room over it, and that's why there's a, bl a brick floor. So it's kind of uh, unique. But it's uh, very interesting, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. That's the uh, break room. I've got the radio on today. A uh, little music in the air is always nice. And I just wanted to show, as I wrap it up for today, uh, as I go outside, and it's a beautiful day, and I'm just so grateful that there's no smoke in the air and no problems around here, you know, it's been, I've had a whole lifetime, and I've had enough problems to last a, a, a few lifetimes. So the last thing that I want is any more drama or any problems, especially, you know, when it comes to uh, a serious, serious emergency like we just had. So uh, it's actually been very traumatic that this all happened. And uh, so we just, I've actually been struggling to keep my spirits up and to get through this time because it's been devastating uh, but thankfully we made it and things are good around here the birds are chirping the garden's growing the air is fresh 
the beach is, is I'm sure, nice. It's a perfect, perfect beach day today. And uh, it's definitely the nicest day since I've, uh, this year. So totally blessed uh, on that, uh, on that note. And I brought my radio out here. I was going to show, just show you guys. I got the same radio station that's in the brick room uh, playing out here. And this is the little courtyard. And I just think this is a, it's a really nice spot. Um, just to actually really, it gets really good sun. So it's actually one of the best places ever just to lay out in the sun or sit and, and get some sun, uh, hang out, get the barbecue going or something. So this is a very good spot um, for laying in the sun. In fact, this is my favorite spot um, in the whole world, really. And so this right here, I think, is a very special spot. And I think I'd like to put like a day bed here for lounging in the, in the sun. And it's just private enough that you could really, you could get naked back here. And you could lay out butt naked if you wanted to, uh, without causing too much of a scene. So. special spot but this is it you know to me this is uh, this is the the epitome you know the apex of paradise actually is just this little courtyard and this little spot in the Sun where I would love to make love to my wife someday in the sunshine so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking about and that's why this is my favorite spot so cheers cheers and uh god bless and uh yeah you know just wholesome good vibes there you know just of course uh, dreaming of making love to my wife in the hot sun is is a beautiful fantasy and it's a beautiful healthy thing to think about so it's totally good and you know, and it's a happy, it's a happy and good thing. So cheers to that. Cheers to love. And uh, yes, God bless and keep the faith and cheers to faith. And um, yeah, we're just getting right through it. So Better than ever, right? We're still, it's still better than it was yesterday. No matter what happened, today is still better than yesterday. So, to say the least, uh, I've never been more blessed in my life. So, uh, I've also, I've also never been more overwhelmed in my life. So, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> just kind of intense. I have to be very efficient with my time and my attention uh, because there's a million things that are you know, pulling my, pulling me, being pulled in a million directions, I suppose it kind of feels like. So I have to just be very efficient about what I do uh, throughout the day. You know, I, I try not to waste time on anything. Um, I don't play video games, you know, I don't have time for it. Uh, I don't have time for a whole, for you to even sit down very much during the day because there's always something to do. Um, but it's nice, you know, I love to stay busy, 
and uh, working on my health, getting healthier every day, um, getting smarter every day, getting happier every day, uh, getting tanner, um, you know, getting making progress uh, just on all fronts. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making lots of progress all the time, uh, as as much to the best of my ability. I am slightly limited at this time. So, but I'm also very, I have very high integrity and I'm highly intelligent, thankfully. So I'm able to make the right decisions, and actually I'm able to make a whole lot happen with very little. Uh, so because I'm because I'm able. I know because I've figured so many things out. I, I'm very good at sorting things out and and making things happen with very little. It's a matter of efficiency. So I'm very very efficient with things. And uh, yeah, so things are good. We're getting through it, counting the blessings. And uh, that's about it. Now this one's doing really good. This was actually starting to form berries, which are highly, you know, those are very, um, very cool, you know, very, very cool. So these little berries right here, that one's doing good. Did that one right. So, and then you got some nice little, these little flowers are going to be beautiful. There's some little purple Elysium flowers. And I think they're actually going to smell really nice. So, that's another thing. That's another thing.